If you're watching this, you are likely looking for a lease in Milton. Hi, I'm Shalini Enriquez with Remax Real Estate Center, and I want to give you five tips that you should do right now before you even start your search for your new home in Milton. Landlords are really looking for two things. They want to know that you are going to be able to take care of the home, and they also want to know that you have enough income to be able to cover the monthly rent. So here are five things that you can do to be prepared ahead of time before you start looking for your next lease. Number one is have a completed rental app. So on the rental application, if you don't have one, um, you can reach out to me and I will send one to you. But a rental application will state how many people are gonna be living in the home. It'll ask you for your last two places of residence. Um, there'll also be questions about if you have um, a car, your car payment. This is just giving the landlord an opportunity to get to know who is going to be living in the home. And that on there is going to be references. So here's a pro tip. If you are going to be putting references down on there, make sure that you call them ahead of time and just give them a heads up that they may get called from a landlord looking for a reference. The second thing you're going to need to have is a complete credit report, credit check and score. So you can go to Equifax to pull that off. I believe that there's a cost of about $20 or so for you to pull that off of Equifax um, or TransUnion. Those are a couple of options. Sometimes depending on who you bank with, you may be able to pull off a credit report and score from your bank as well. So check there too. The tip to keep in mind is that you're gonna wanna keep that relatively current within the last 60 days or so. Third thing you're going to have to have is a copy of an employment letter. So uh, a lot of landlords will want to know, um, have, will uh, request proof of employment. So if you can have a letter from your HR department stating how long you've been working in the uh, job that you've been in and your salary, that will be a big help. The fourth thing you're gonna to wanna to have are pay stubs. So you should have your last couple of pay stubs handy uh, to share with the landlord as well. And the fifth bonus tip here is to be prepared. The oftentimes a landlord will want to meet you in person or meet you over a Zoom or video chat um, just to get to know you a little bit better. So they will ask questions. Oftentimes they'll ask, you know, wh uh, why you're moving. Um, they'll maybe ask about your employment. They'll ask you some questions to get to know you a little bit better and just to establish some comfort um, before they will go ahead uh, with the lease agreement. So those those are just five things that you are going to want to keep in mind if you are looking for a lease. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always check for leases on my website. And if you are done with the lease ready to own a home, I also help buyers and sellers in the Milton area. Once again, my name is Shalini Enriquez and thank you so much for watching.